Welcome to Pandemic Apparel. On this episode, I'll be showing you how to improve your accuracy while sewing the maze and circle. You'll need two 7.5 inch square pieces of muslin and two 10 inch by 8 inch piece of muslin for the circle. I made a template out of the manila paper with two holes, one in the middle and another 3.25 inches away from the center. I'll show you how to use this later on in the tutorial. Let's start with the maze. Press the muslin pieces together. This will help both pieces stay in place while sewing. Using the same technique I used in a previous tutorial, episode 23, Sewing Exercise, start sewing at the very edge and using your presser foot as a guide, sew a quarter inch away from the raw edge. When you come around, you'll use the first row of stitches as a guide instead of the raw edge. Go as far as you can to the center of the square, then stop. Back stitch two stitches and remove fabric from the sewing machine. Finally, press the muslin. If your sewing machine tension is correct, by pressing the fabric after sewing it, it will allow the stitches to settle and the chain stitch will meet in the middle of the two fabric pieces. If done correctly, one will not be able to tell the top thread from the bobbin thread. The circle. Start by drawing the circle using a pencil to anchor the middle punch hole and another pencil to draw the circle. Then mark the starting point and another point a third of a way around and a quarter inch away from the circle's edge. Slowly start drawing a line to the end point. Take your time as this will be your guide for sewing. Press the muslin pieces together. This will help both pieces stay in place while sewing. Place your muslin at the designated starting point and sew all the way around the circle. Continue sewing until you reach the starting point. When you reach this point, you'll want to start following the guideline that you drew. When you come to the end of that line, switch over and start using the presser foot as the guide and continue to sew until you reach the middle of the circle. If your fabric looks a bit wavy, don't worry, it will come out during pressing. Note. Use your fingertips to guide the fabric around. Avoid having your palms on the fabric. Next episode will be an updated seam tutorial. If you missed last episode on grayness skirt, be sure to check that out. And in the meantime, make sure you're subscribed to Pandemic Apparel.